Summer took off in my garden without even me noticing it. That is because I was away from my garden for the most part of it. When it needed the most attention, my life got pretty busy and I was lost in the hustle. Summers can be quite a busy time for all of us, right? Calendars packed with events, with lots of things to get done before the winter arrives again. But it can be stressful at times, with no time booked for ourselves. These days, there is a constant urge to make most of our time and be productive. Yes, life is short. Time is the most valuable asset that we have. I agree all that. But taking a day off to rest is a good use of time as well. So this morning, I decided to take a break, slow down and plant some flowers in my garden. Taking rest can mean different for you and me. It does not always mean to lie down, sleep, watch Netflix and do nothing. Physical rest is important, but for me, doing the ordinary daily tasks also gives me good rest. Often, these ordinary tasks are considered boring, like cleaning my home, gardening, taking a walk, reading, journaling. But such activities help me to be mindful. While doing such tasks, it gives me more space to think. When I'm doing my dishes, I do the dishes. When I fold my clothes, I do only that. When I'm gardening, I'm fully immersed in gardening. Engaging in such activities grounds me and demands me to be present. When I do that, life calms down and I'm breathing again and not hustling anymore. And that means rest to me. Maybe you don't resonate with the idea of taking physical rest or don't find joy in meditating, journaling, reading. Or maybe you feel you don't have that kind of time. That is when being mindful can be helpful. When you do the ordinary mundane tasks, you give your brain the time to rest, to reflect, to process what has happened. This is so important for mental health because our mind needs this time to process things. And if our brain doesn't get this time, we crash hard, anxiety and depression kicks in. Sometimes it is beneficial to appreciate the ordinary tasks in our daily life instead of considering them as a chore. I know this doesn't work for everyone, but find activities that bring you to the present and engage in it. Because when we are fully present and doing something, especially when we do something with our hands, we touch things, we feel things, this can work slowly but subconsciously in a way that can be helpful for our mental health. Taking the right amount of rest, giving your brain time to wander, healthy procrastination can make you enormously productive and even creative. I'm slowly regaining the strength and energy to get back to my routines and I'm so looking forward to it. My garden needs a lot of TLC this summer, but that is for another video. I'll take you along in the coming weeks to show you what is happening in my garden. But I can already tell you it is not going very good when compared to last year. I don't even know if you got something out of this video, but I like making such videos which help me reflect, 
and get back into the groove. Let me know if you could resonate with the things that I shared in this video. I wish you a peaceful day ahead. Bye and take care.